talk through the entire problem. Raise your hand. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit difficult to explain because we probably haven't all thought about it, but I'll do my best. So, was Dan your TA? Dan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he was. Um, so this is episode, lots of numbers, 4.35, natrium and calium, created by Dan Brown, who is actually my TA. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, so here's our phase diagram for um, sodium potassium mis mixtures, right? And as you know, our stream up there is 0.1. So we don't want to be in the two phases. So here's our solid solid phase, and we have another solid solid phase. And we do not want to be in our solid solid phases because it's very, very difficult to separate solid solid phases. So we prefer to be in our two phase regions with liquid solid, liquid solid, or liquid solid. Um, so don't want to be in this one, don't want to be in this one. Immediately off the bat, what do you guys see here as being a problem on our graph in terms of purifying our substances? Does anyone see a pinch point? Eric? Uh, between the two phases right there. Here? Okay. Good job. Okay, so here are our different options then because we know that we want to separate the Na and K, right? So we want pure sodium. Pure sodium we know to be over here, which means we would ideally like to take out pure potassium, which is all the way over here. But as we said from the pinch point, this here um, is going to be a problem. So we have a couple of different options in terms of getting our pure one. So we want to take out the most potassium that we can. So which of these is going to take out the most potassium? Which has the, the highest composition of potassium? C? Who said C? You said C. You said C. Who got C? Okay. Awesome. So we agree that it's C. So what is our mole fractions going to be then? 1 Say it louder. 1 and 0.4. 1 and 0.4. Like I can't really see 0.45. Maybe. Right. So you're just dropping this line down? Yeah. yeah. So it's the same as what you use for all of your other diagrams. So when you get a scary diagram like this, you know the general basics of how to solve this. You know that if you go straight down, this is your weight fraction. So if you just drop this line right here down, then you have 44% weight fraction. And then if you draw that line down, you have pure NA. So I got pure NA out. That was the goal. There's my design. Success. We've produced pure natrium, aka sodium. Everyone happy? Game over. No. No. Go back to slides. <laughs> okay. 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 Drop it to A, and then from there drop it to B, and then from there drop it to C, you can produce more sodium. Right? Or am I wrong? Might be wrong. So you're suggesting we drop it to A, and then drop it to B, and then drop it to C. Yeah, if you use a multi step process, then the equilibrium point will change, and then you can get more sodium out. Is there another way that we can potentially, so I mean... pull that out of B, pull the sodium off, and then drop the other one down, what are you dropping down? Just the liquid, because you already pulled the solid out, right? Yeah. So when you drop that down, where's your new fulcrum at C? Ooh. At C it's going to be further left, like where the B equilibrium liquid point is. So it's going to be over closer here, right? Yeah. But if you have this, then when you do your lever roll, Very little. Yes. you're going to have a big mass here. You're going to have a really little amount here. And our goal is to get a lot of this. No, but you already did two other steps. But no, never mind. Yes. Think about composition. Yes, never mind. I didn't work. It'll actually be less because Sam was throwing away just one thing at 73 C, that liquid over there. You're throwing away two intermediate compositions that have a lot of sodium in them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so what about. Is there another option? Does anyone else have another idea? Okay, I have another idea. So, doo -doo -doo. okay, so this is our design. Success, we produce pure natrium. But wait, there's more. 
We want to maximize our production, which means we want to take out as much of the potassium as we can. So, we have this here. We have this string, which is great because we're getting out our, um, our pure natrium. What are we going to do with this string here? Drop it down. Okay, so we drop this down, and now we have streams five and four, which means we're getting a stream with a lot of potassium out here, right? Which is good, because if we take a lot of potassium out here, then that means we have potentially more sodium to take out in our sodium-rich stream. So I suggest that with this solid and with our 20 weight percent sodium, so we do this. Ta-da! I'm done. Good? It's like one last <laughs> one. last, oh yeah. <laughs> Name must your challenge be before conquer it you can. Okay, so what is our goal? <laughs> what is our goal? Get pure sodium, right? Get pure sodium. So we got like pretty pure, like we got this solid, but I mean, it's not pure by any means, right? So, with Yoda's help, recycle it. So if you recycle this into this here, then when you split it, you're going to get more of your two because now you have added this extra mass into it with that sodium rich, so now you can get more sodium out. So, we're done, right here, this is it. <laughs> what? Or are we? Or are we done? This is back from old school, so look at this. Is this perfect here? Yell it loud. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> now we're done. <laughs> <laughs> That's ominous. Yes.